All right. Well, uh, welcome everyone to our second masterclass demo, uh, this time on uh, graduate outcomes. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I know fo some folks may have been in the previous session, uh, so we'll we'll keep moving from there. Uh, we'll do a small overview of, of the data as we get started, just to uh, just to provide some some context for new folks uh, who might have missed the previous session. So we'll, we'll begin with that in just a moment. Uh, I do see the poll results here uh, being shared. So it looks like most folks either have never logged in or understand the basics of graduate outcomes. Uh, and we have at least one person who's proficient and able to instruct their colleagues. So awesome. Uh, maybe that person will even answer some of the questions in the chat. Should be fun. Um, just wanted to uh, remind everybody that I've got a couple of colleagues here with me, Aaron King uh, and Rob Ganaway. They'll be helping to uh, moderate the, the chat questions as they come in. What we'll be doing is uh, providing a walkthrough of the platform uh, first, and then uh, we'll save some time towards the end to talk about use case uh, and some of the various ways you might use it. Uh, and then after that, we'll have some Q&A. We also have the office hours at 3.15 today to uh, talk about everything in, in a bit more deeper context. So if some of your questions are more institution specific, we're happy to engage in conversation with you at that time. So I am, uh, like the previous session, uh, gonna turn off my video now uh, since I'll be looking uh, back and forth and I know I will distract myself um, if, I, if I see my head turning. So I'm gonna turn that off and go ahead and share my screen. Um, oh, Aaron, uh, can you give me screen share access? There we go. Uh, perfect. So hopefully everyone uh, can see uh, my screen at this point. Um, as mentioned previously, uh, we have uh, a, a pretty expansive uh, data library. We've got over 130 million individual profiles uh, from individuals all across the United States. Uh, all from publicly available data sources. And so this uh, this database of final profiles is what's feeding all of our tools, including the student platform, which we just looked at, and uh, graduate outcomes, which we'll, we'll be looking at in a moment. Um, all of the data that we have, it, again, from these public sources goes through extensive uh, validation, data processing, using machine learning and, and advanced techniques to, to ensure uh, that uh, uh, that we've removed duplicates or uh, really updated and gotten the most current information that we have a uh, access to for our individual profiles. This information is then uh, available in a variety of outcomes uh, around name, age, gender, salary, location, degree levels, employers, job titles, uh, skills that are particularly important to us. And we'll be talking about skills in the graduate outcomes table. So uh, this we're going to go a little bit more in depth in this. Uh, later in the week on Wednesday. So if you're interested in learning more about the data, uh, we're happy to kind of engage in that conversation on Wednesday. I'm gonna jump over to our graduate outcomes dashboard. Uh, much like the previous session, we're gonna be focusing on Michigan State University. So uh, we'll be walking through uh, the the outcomes for Michigan State uh, here. And so, uh, you know, should you have any uh, questions about your specific in institution, we're happy to engage uh, with that in the uh, masterclass office hour sessions, or feel free to send me an email and I'm happy to connect with you one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So uh, this this environment that we show, the, the outcomes dashboard, um, has uh, you have the ability to add uh, folks from your institution to this. Uh, we do include a, a kind of a team management uh, platform, so different folks can have access to this. Uh, we really want to be a cross-campus solution, and so uh, if you're only currently using graduate outcomes, uh, or Graduate Explorer for that matter in a particular, in you know, one particular area, we're happy to engage with you on how to expand uh, access across the platform. Um, everything that you see here on Graduate Explorer, uh, sorry, Graduate Outcomes is uh, highly interactive. We can zoom in uh, to the map, it repopulates uh, down to the census tract level uh, for our graduates. Uh, everything you see is clickable and filterable. And so uh, that's very helpful uh, as we explore the data. Um, you'll see this system of blue and green bars. Again, very similar to student. Blue bar is uh, is our uh, frequency or count. Green bar is salary dollars. Um, and so uh, that is available as well. We do have a variety of filters uh, on the side, including degree level, major graduation years, et cetera. Uh, you will see this filter include university employees. That's why our total profiles right now is uh, is short about 8,000 from the 270,000 total. That's because institutions often employ their graduates. And so uh, we, we find by default, it's helpful uh, for those to be filtered out. You of course can add those in if, if you'd like to see them. Uh, but again, we can click on any of these. I could scroll down and let's take a look at supply chain management, for example. 
and you'll see how the total salary, uh, gender breakdown, age, uh, and total alumni counts all update and change. Uh, and so this this allows you to you know think contextually about uh, any of your majors and, and where those folks might be. We also see that the employers have changed. Uh, and so these are the most common employers, not just for all Michigan State grads, but specifically those in supply change management. Uh, we can even see job titles. So uh, again, we'll talk about application in broad terms, but this is really, really helpful data uh, for folks across the institution, institutional research, alumni, uh, career services to be able to have access to this information. Certainly academic programs could also benefit uh, from reviewing this as well. This was, you know, kind of the overview tab. Next, we're going to move into employer trends uh, and take a look at this data uh, fr more from an employer perspective. And so what you see first are uh, a breakout uh, of 20 year trends around industry and job function. This delineation is really important to us. Uh, you'll see, you, you know, somebody could be working in the IT industry uh, in an IT role. And those those are different things. I could be working in the IT industry in the finance sector for example. So uh, it is important for us uh, and, and we do delineate these uh, to help uh, imp uh, help you kind of view this in, in different ways. Um, so these are the top industries that, that students uh, from Michigan State are, are working in. Uh, you'll see education is trending down. That's very common at a lot of institutions across the country, especially uh, as the economy gets stronger. Uh, healthcare is, is trending up. Uh, information technology is, is trending up pretty rapidly. Um, and so this gives you a really great overview. Uh, and again, we'll see, you know, IT job functions um, as mentioned, you know. So this would allow you to explore for a variety of your programs, uh, how your alumni are doing and, and what jobs they're working in. Towards the bottom of the page, we have employer trends. And this allows us to look at the uh, employers from volume, those trending up, those trending down. Uh, and this is fantastic data, especially for folks uh, engaging in the alumni, uh, sorry, the employer relations side to be able to see who are the top employers. Uh, and often this is very powerful uh, data uh, for that for that team to be able to engage. You know, we see Deloitte here is, has fallen off a little bit in recent years uh, for Michigan State. Is that because of a, uh, a turnover in recruiter? Or uh, is that because, uh, you know, Deloitte has changed locations or, or what that might be? Um, as mentioned about skills, this is really kind of a key component uh, for us and, and something we always want to explore, uh, you know, kind of over these these 10 year charts and and what we can do is actually benchmark the skills. So again, we're talking about Michigan State. We see Michigan State is the second uh, highest employer uh, for folks at General Motors. And we see these skills alignment. This is, is particularly helpful when we look at uh, filtering by major. So now I'm looking at mechanical engineers from Michigan State uh, versus the actual employees at General Motors um, uh, who, uh, you, you know, are, are in this mechanical engineering category. So we'll see this, you know, direct alignment of skills, uh, and I could actually hover over to get more context. Um, but, but these top skills, engineering, automotive work, automotive engineering, manufacturing, uh, again, and phenomenal data and phenomenal tools for uh, any program to really think about how are we aligning the curriculum of mechanical engineering with uh, the skills required at, at General Motors or, or, or any other company uh, that's available in the chart. This is also super helpful for career services because as you're talking about you know skills uh, with, with your students, um, you could review and kind of have this information and, and even facilitate workshops or, or activities around uh, some of these concepts as needed, or again, direct students to the student platform uh, to, to get some digital career counseling uh, on these topics, topics as well. Uh, if folks want to see this, kind of looking at this list, we of course could click over and, and see how this is different uh, at other, uh, other, uh, other locations. Um, so you see, you know, the lists of employee employers are different. Uh, the skills required here now at Quicken Loans versus General Motors are obviously very different. So uh, very beneficial for folks to kind of think through this. Um, certainly, you know, we can hone in on just the business management students at, at Quicken Loans uh, to kind of get an understanding of how uh, the skills might be different uh, in those different applications. If we want to talk a little bit more about skills, we can actually go over to the skills tab and take a look at um, all of all of the skills information here. Um, 
and really explore this, you know, in a very nuanced way. So we're looking here, commonality, relevance, and salary. We talked about this in the student platform. Uh, it's also here. Uh, common Commonality, these are the most common skills for Michigan State graduates. Relevance, the most uh, sort of unique skills uh, to Michigan State graduates. And of course, salary, what skills lead to the highest uh, salary outcomes uh, for students. Looking at this uh, for all uh, uh, graduates is, is not particularly, or not as, not as uh, sort of maximized as helpful as it could be. Really, this gets super interesting when we look at this uh, by a particular major. Um, and so again, there's, there's a variety of applications for this. Um, you know, say I look at our computer science grads, we'll see that these salary relevance and commonalities have all changed. So we're seeing C++, software development, Java, SQL. Uh, again, like the student platform, if there's anything I uh, don't know, I can hover over, read the description, or even click out uh, and learn a little bit more about it. Uh, that can be really beneficial for you know advisors or, or career staff to, to think through some of these topics uh, if they're less familiar with things like agile methodologies or um, you know uh, XMI or, or really any of these pretty advanced uh, technical skills. Um, we can also see you know how this list changes again based on relevance, uh, based on salary, and so what you're seeing you know things like systems architecture, enterprise architecture. These are very clearly the uh, more seasoned graduates of Michigan State in, in uh, that um, uh, computer sciences uh, that, that are now in pretty high level positions. Uh, perhaps another way to look at this is to look at our most recent grads. Uh, and so I'll add graduation year, maybe the past four years, um, just to kind of think through how these skills are, are different uh, for our more recent grads. This list uh, looks pretty similar. We're seeing many of the same things, C++, uh, although Python is now a little bit more highly relevant uh, because that is a, a newer language. Um, we're seeing relevance here, shift, uh, and even salary, big data. Uh, artificial intelligence, pattern recognition. These are really critical, uh, very modern technical skills uh, that our students uh, from Michigan State are, are uh, now walking out into the workforce with, which is fantastic and, and really beneficial to them. Uh, but certainly, you know, kind of we're looking at this now in a very different way. Uh, we're looking at 575 uh, alumni now instead of, uh, uh, I think it was close to 4,000. Um, we're, we're looking at everyone. So this, this uh, sort of system, overview, employer trends and skills, really provides uh, students with, uh, sorry, staff with, uh, with a great view of their alumni. Um, and as we've kind of talked about, uh, there's some really powerful ways to leverage uh, this. Um, it's a great sort of overview of the data and would allow specific academic programs to think about their skills uh, that, that alumni are, are walking out uh, of the institution with. Um, we talked about the employer uh, employer trend component, and, and that might be very powerful uh, for some of your employer trends. Um, certainly, you know, as you're, as you're looking at this, uh, I know a lot of institutions have uh, perhaps internship programs or, or specific relations with, uh, with an employer. And, and so this would be fantastic data to again, go to, uh, you know, the, those, uh, that top company with and, and kind of talk about um, how how to strengthen that relationship or strengthen those opportunities uh, for students. Um, and, and so those are, you know, kind of the two primary pieces. Career Services, again, has lots of application here uh, for folks and, and could really help um, sort of support uh, students in a variety of ways. 